Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Yoikle Print On Demand to Etsy. Okay, so I created a brand new uh, Etsy account here just to do this tutorial and show you guys how you can um, kind of um, integrate it and connect it together. Uh, some of you guys may be using this print-on-demand software. We are currently using it for our Shopify store build that I've been working on with you guys, you know, posting a video, about one video a week for this tutorial, and it's coming along pretty well, as you guys can see. So why not go inside here, stick a little bit of a, a wrench in the system, and uh, show you guys how to connect Yoikle to Etsy. It just so happens that I already have products connected. In fact, I could go to my dashboard here and I can go to, um, first off, I'll go to the store so I could show you here. On the Shopify store, we have 12 products already connected. I can click products here, uh, or excuse me, I can click designs rather, and I can go to product templates. You can see we already have some built-in templates. And what I could do is I can send these products to an Etsy store. I can publish them to an Etsy store. So I figured I kind of show you that, uh, you know, why not, and show you guys how this works. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously have an Etsy account and complete the initial signup. So all you have to do is go to your profile, select open a store or sell on Etsy, and then you have to like fill out the information where you live, you know, all that kind of information, the basics, right? So where you live, banking account information, things like that. Once you co uh, connect your or uh, create an Etsy store, you're going to have to create a Yoikle account. You can click the link in the description if you want to go ahead and access. I'll have Etsy link, Yoikle link, all that kind of stuff in the description. Once you go ahead and, and take care of that kind of stuff, you create the both accounts, it's time to create a product. So, by the way, Yoikle can be glitchy. So, if you click on products, for example, sometimes you might not see anything. It can be glitchy. Just refresh the page a few times, you know, click around, refresh it. It will, it will then show the products. I know some people, uh, they, they click on it, they might not see anything. Um, you can create so many different products with this business. Once again, with the print-on-demand field, either you're going to really run into two main issues for most times is either the product quality is bad or the shipping is going to be bad. It's going to be one of the two, unfortunately. And if it's not, it, then the price is probably going to be bad. So you really just kind of have to deal with it. For this business, product quality is good, uh, shipping is bad, and... Um, price is decent. So, you know, it's not the best pricing, but it's not the worst either. So, uh, you know, it could be worse, right? So anyways, so you can go through, pick what kind of products you want. They have, you know, all kinds of different stuff that you can sell. You could sell pants, you could sell hoodies, you can sell polos, uh, all kinds of like clothing that is even outside of the regular, like you see dresses here, you see all kinds of stuff. Um, rugs, quilts, you name it, they sell it. So anyways, pick your product. Once you pick your product, right? For me, I have posters. Okay. Once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and add uh, the graphics to the piece of art, right? So you're still in Yoikl now. You haven't connected it to anything, but this is, you're going to create the graphics, right? So you're going to hit add image. You're going to select an image that you've uploaded, right? And you can upload images. You could also use their built-in stuff. So, like, for example, if you click styles here, they have all kinds of weird stuff that they create. I personally would never sell this kind of stuff, but, you know, it might be an interest to somebody out there in the world. Anyways, so I'll use, for example, this panther image that I already have. And I'll take this and I'll hit update, right? So once I hit update, what I'm really doing is I'm, I'm about to publish this into a store. So I get to pick what kind of store I want to publish it to. Now when I publish this to a store, I'll go over here and hit stores and I'll hit add new store. And what I'll select is I have a few options here. Okay. So I have Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Wix, eBay, and Etsy. I'll go ahead and click Etsy. It will take a look at my account here. And I'll select grant access. Okay. Uh, I'm already signed in to the Etsy account. So all it does, boom, I'm connected. I have access, etc. 
Uh, something that I do want to point out here is if I select the store here, that is my Shopify store, you can see all the products that are added. And I can go over here, what kind of products are already connected via Shopify. I can go over here and hit edit, etc. So in the case of if you ever want to edit any of the products that you've ever added or anything like that to your store, you can go ahead and do so. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our design product templates and we'll take this product, for example, and I'll hit publish and I will pick the store that the proper Etsy store. In my case, I have it blurred out, but I selected the proper Etsy store and I will publish this to the Etsy store that I have mentioned earlier, right? So this kind of stuff, the only thing I would do different is when I actually have this in Etsy, I would go in manually in Etsy and add the proper tags and I would add the proper um, mockups because these mockups are just not good in my opinion. But I'll give this a name, okay? I'll give this, um, you know, a product title, things like that. I'll call this, let's just say I'll call this Jaguar, Jaguar Panther poster, you know, just so that we know what it is. And what we'll do is we'll see here the pricing. So when you want to post it, you have to make sure you're accounting for pricing. And you don't necessarily want to have to go in and edit this in Etsy because it could take a little bit longer, but you want to probably edit it right here. So how can you do this, make this a little bit easier? These are your costs, right? With, with shipping, by the way. So I recommend you just look at your total costs. So this product here costs twelve fifty six to produce. This product costs eight seventy three, seven eighty four, etc. And this is after it is shipped, okay, uh, to the United States, whatever. So there's different shipping zones, right? So if I was going to ship this to Australia, you know, and I pick the the shipping standard. In my case, obviously, I'm going to go with the cheapest one, standard shipping. Um, I don't even, because I'm going to provide it for free, free shipping anyway, right? So let's say I'm selling this product, twelve fifty six. How much do I want to make? Me personally, profit margin, you know, I could make double. I could make triple. It depends on how I want it to be. I have to compare it to other product prices on Etsy and see how I kind of fit. So if I was to go on Etsy right now, let's just go ahead and go on Etsy and search for, let's say, a Jaguar uh, poster. Okay. Let's search for that. And they're thinking of the car, but I'm more thinking of the actual poster. Um, let's see, is this, this is a digital download. I'm looking for the actual physical print. So let's go to filters. Let's go to physical items. Okay. And let's see. So this one is 12 something, but let's see the size. So the size here, 24 by 36 is $180 with the frame. Let's do they have an option without the frame? Uh, 161 oak frame, oak frame, oak frame. So it seems like all of these are framed, um, which is interesting, you know. Uh, let's let's go with something. Let's go with 29.99. Let's see what percentage that is, right? So 29.99 is 139%. So then in that case, I'll just have here all 139%, right? So I'll do that. And I'm just using a number that makes sense for me, shipping wise and print wise is like after all the fees, after all the costs, how much money can I make, right? So 139% is decent. If I really want to, I can make 140, 138, whatever. Okay. You guys stick with the numbers that you want to work with. I'll just go ahead and hit publish here. I have to create a category. Of course, the category for Etsy, this is a poster. So let's see here. We got posters. We don't have poster. We technically, it could be an accessory, but let's just see here. Or home and living. Yeah, there we go. Home and living is better. In my case, once again, your product is going to be a little bit different. If you're not sure, write in the comments down below. I'll tell you what category we'll go into. But uh, this says publishing. And once this is fully published, it should be viewable in our Etsy uh, catalog. It it most likely will be in the draft section because you do have to approve uh, the Etsy listing. But we what we could do, let's go ahead and refresh this here. It's already synced. So notice how it's synced. That means it should be in our Etsy account. So we'll go over here to Etsy account. We'll hit listings. 
and there it is. We have one in our draft. So this is the product in our draft. Now, me personally, what I would do is before this goes live, I'm going to upload better mockups and I'm going to upload a better title. And on top of that, I'm going to do the tag research and add proper tags. Okay, if you just leave it like this and you hit publish, this thing is never going to get any attention, never going to get any sales. Of, of course, unless you're doing some sort of marketing promotion or ads, something like that. But uh, that's what I would do. So let me show you real quick what I do for the uh, mockups. So here, let me go to my uh, saved ones, right? So let's go to my place it. Okay, these are ones that you've seen in the store. These are the same mockups that I've used on the Shopify store. Okay, um, a little tip, a little pro tip is if you have the ability and you're making good enough money where you can open up a Shopify store with your Etsy, you have a, another balance as to how you can make more money, another, another revenue source. And over time, depends on your Shopify strategy, but you can run ads to your Shopify store. But more importantly, for people who are looking for passive income, you can also take advantage of SEO. Now, I did say in one of my last videos that for this specific store, I wasn't going to run ads. Excuse me, I was going to run ads and not do SEO. Remember, guys, running ads is more instantaneous. So immediately, you know if the ad is working or not working after you spend a certain budget of money. Sometimes, you know, what people recommend is the price of the product. So if the product costs $40 and you spend the price of the product, so let's say the price costs you $12 to fulfill, you spend $12 in ads, you don't make any sales, it's probably not a good idea to keep running that ad. Now, obviously, you have to get your ad warmed up when it comes down to Facebook because that's the way marketing works on Facebook, a lot different than other platforms such as Google, um, Pinterest, etc. Different, different platform with different rules. Uh, but with shop, of, uh, excuse me, with Facebook, it's a good idea to run the ad for a little while, spend even more money than what the product cost, so that I could find the proper audience over time. However, that is a different conversation for a completely different time. And something that I do want you to realize is when you create these different avenues off of literally the same product, you're saving time. Because what happens is, is people will start making money off Etsy right off the bat, or even Shopify, and then they'll say, okay, well, I want to expand now, and I want to go into the other place, you know, the other platform, and do both at the same time, which is completely possible, but it takes more time. And then they're noticing that they're doing the work twice in a row, three times in a row. They're doing the same work over and over and over. Meanwhile, they could have done it the first time. So we have a, a Shopify um, playlist. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to see that. But that's essentially how you get it going. We have our playlists here. Uh, excuse me, our mockups here. I can click see all so I can show you what kind of mockups I've been creating. Right? You can see how they look. And they all look pretty good. You know, there's nothing really too bad about them. And all of these mockups uh, are going to be placed on this Etsy store as a tutorial. All right, so um, you could see how it basically worked, how I connected it, and super simple. So for the fun of it, I'll go ahead and take all of these posters, post them on Etsy, and see what comes of it. But once again, I would have to do the proper keyword research. Uh, speaking of keyword research, if you guys want to see more on that, make sure you go to poddegree.com. We have a free members area with free lessons. And speaking of the lessons... Uh, one of our lessons is an Etsy low competition keyword mini course lesson, uh, which is right here. If you want to see how I how I figure out the competition, how I figure out low low competition keywords, we got all kinds of lessons on there. In fact, there's ten lessons. You could probably count how many minutes there are. This one's twenty one minutes, seven minutes, three minutes, twenty minutes, three minutes. Uh, th four minutes, th 30 seconds, nine minutes, 25 seconds, 12 minutes, etc. You guys see 24 minutes, 12 minutes. So, you know, it's it's kind of a, a, a mini course with, with some good content in there where I show you guys how I personally find low competition keywords. But the best thing you could do before you even start uploading into Etsy is find the right products via the keywords. Do the re niche research first before you create the product. It tends to be easier that way. If you have the product already created, now you have to kind of fit the right keywords into it. it makes it a little bit more complicated. I'm not saying it's impossible. It makes it a little more complicated, uh, but 
definitely very possible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Super easy tutorial. Anyone could get started on Etsy. You could even get started on eBay. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that too, I'll be happy to make it. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye. See you soon.